they uh, told me that you're going abroad for safety and they hoped to join me in due course. It must have been a tearful goodbye to dad, mum and sister. My childhood, I would describe as being quite happy, uh, probably sheltered quite a bit, and I think was a bit of a spoiled brat. Jewish life until the uh, advent of the Nazis was a traditional Jewish life, no problems at all. I got that sense that things were shifting because you saw on the streets um, brown shirts, the um, SA, I suddenly, I suppose, realized that life had changed radically. Until it started, you know, we were asleep, things were quiet. Then we were hauled out of our flat and had to march in silence to an open space in the town where we stood, men, women and children separated, standing there one could hear shouts, screams and the sky uh, lit up red as the synagogues in the town were set on fire, were burning. I've still got that, Im that image in front of me. It haunts me at times. We came home um, in the morning, minus Dad, who together with other men had been taken away. I asked where he is and couldn't get any particular answer. And the next thing I really recall is Dad reappearing. All I can remember of him when he returned, that he looked himself, but a rather gaunt figure. But I must have felt some kind of something was going on, exactly what I wasn't fully aware or at least I didn't really understand. They uh, told me that you're going abroad for safety and they hope to join me in due course. It must have been a tearful goodbye to dad, mum, and sister. Fortunately, some of my mind has gone blank about certain of those aspects. They're probably at the back of my mind somewhere, but um, I don't remember. What I remember is that we were young children on board. It felt rather lonely. You know, where's mum, where's dad? I had to learn English. I knew no English, except one sentence, uh, which was, I'm hungry, may I have a piece of bread, which my parents had taught me. Learning such important things about English life, British life, how to play hopscotch, which of course is very important. And one thing that sticks in my mind was going to the cinema for the first time in my life. And the film that I saw was The Wizard of Oz. In Germany, of course, Jews weren't allowed to go to cinemas, theatres, uh, concerts, whatever.
they were never out of my mind. But whether they would come, well, I suppose there was that hope, a distant hope. My parents were in touch with me still, and I wrote to them as well. But the sad thing is that an older boy told me once the war had started, you can't keep those letters from your parents. They're in German, and if the Germans were to come, goodness knows what would happen. Well, he was rather concerned that they, we might be considered something like spies or plants, so I destroyed every one of their letters. And to this day, I regret it, but there's nothing I can do about it. I realized the promises that they'd made were promises that, of course, they'd hoped to fulfill. The fact that they didn't was nothing to do with them. I just went on living and there's nothing I could do. I just had to make a life for myself. But one screen was showing Crystal Night. And so I said, well, I was there, I must watch it. And I did, and this picture flicked up on the screen. And I must have jumped out of my skin sort of thing and watched it two or three times. It really shook me rigid. And somehow I'd identified my father on there. I mean, don't ask me how I knew. It was just something as if he'd suddenly jumped down and said, here, I'm here. And that somehow revitalized my father within me. It's a strange thing, but I still feel it now. Looking back, I think it was something wonderful that they did, that they were willing to let me go. Uh, how they felt, I'm sure, there were pangs of anxiety, heartbreak. It's difficult, really, really to answer um, how they felt and how I felt. I can only just imagine what they felt like, making a promise not knowing, there's a, not knowing whether they could ever fulfill it or not. 